as the rain continues to come down here in Pittsburgh. Billy Owens at the left of your screen. Michael Hadley in the lower right-hand corner. Here we go. Gravel all set to boot it. Hashmark near side. The 35-yard line. Back deep. Number one is Billy Owens. Number 10 is Michael Hadley. It is end over end. Hadley at the 10. Gets outside. Nice return. Bumped out of bounds at the 27-yard line. He's a senior. As you look at his numbers, they don't look too bad except for the eight interceptions. Four of those were last week. The backs. Fred is right, 42. Craig Hayward, 34. Hayward, the tailback. He's got the football. Blocking over the right side by Ed Miller and Mark Stepnowski. Let's meet now the defense for the art. You just saw Craig Hayward, all 260 pounds of him. Riddick, a converted defensive back, just a freshman, and a good one. The young tight end, Eric Seaman. Williams is excellent. So is Osborne. They're solid receivers, but they have to get the ball from Janela. Hurry up offense for Pittsburgh now. Second down and a long five. Hayward blocking on the right side again by Roman Matus and Mark Stepnowski. Here are the tackles. Roman Matus has worked his way up. He was second on the depth chart early in the year. Now, this is the best part of the team, the offensive line. They graded very highly last week, and they've been strong. Stepnowski. And hurry up offense. Strong side formation to the right. That's where Seaman, the tight end, is aligned. Hayward. Across the 40, a pickup of two. It's second down and eight. Let's take a look now at the Irish defensively. Run three has played exceptionally well this year. Kunz has been out for three weeks. He did not play against Purdue. He was injured, but he's back full strength. The outside backers are excellent. Figaro, an All-American candidate. Darrell Flash Gordon on the other side. Bridget had a bleeding ulcer two weeks ago, but he's back, and Volkar is the leading tackler. We'll see the rest of them after the play. Williams and Osborne are the wideouts. Bumble, Janela picks it up, gives to Hayward, doesn't want it. And Craig rambles back to about the 39-yard line. Cornerbacks for Notre Dame, both good players, and they do not pass that well. Pittsburgh to the outside. The safety, Southall, second in the nation. He's got three interceptions. Streeter can come up and hit. On third and ten, Janela sends it deep. Incomplete at the 27-yard line. Best standing back at his own 26. Spiraling kick, Brown at the 20. A three-yard punt return. Good coverage. Andrzak completing almost 58% of his passes, but he has yet to be tested in the fourth quarter. Johnson caught two big ones last week as a receiver. Green, a great all-purpose back. He does it all. Terrell now a starter. Heck, a good tight end, but Tim Brown is the big guy. You'll see him going deep. Spruell, an excellent offensive lineman. This offensive line has four fifth-year seniors on it, and they're tremendously strong. Tim Brown at the top of your screen. The backs are Johnson, 22. The tailback, Mark Green, 24. Green will carry. Big hole left side, blocking by Tom Freeman. So let's take a look at that pit defense. There's been some injuries on the defensive line. Spindler, a true freshman. John Carter moves from end into tackle. He's a good one. That won't hurt. Neither will move in Carnell Smith up. He was a backup, but he's a good player. Grossman may be the best of the bunch. Osowski coming back after injury. Zeke Gatson, look out. He's a blitzer. He's got 15 sacks. Reggie Ward, the senior out of Long Beach, number 83, wide to the left, along with Tim Brown, number 81. They're at the top of your screen. Second and a short one. Andrasak bends in. Green will carry for the first down. Up to the 35-yard line. They have not been tested. Tim Brown gets a rest. Alonzo Jefferson, the senior out of West Palm Beach, checks in. Mark Green. Convoy around that right side. Dives to the 40. Picks up four yards. Players in the middle of exam. Some turn papers will be. Airborne gets it to Brown. Brown, and you can see the elusive speed as he fights his way up to the 45-yard line. And Johnson in the backfield. Alonzo Jefferson met head on and driven back at the line of scrimmage. Out of Racine, Wisconsin, Terrell Austin is back deep. Not a very good kick. Short, wobbly. Austin fields at the 24 and goes down immediately. Osborne. Wide to the right. Hayward in the backfield, the lone running back. Check it, that is Riddick. Lewis Riddick, number five out of Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Reggie Williams, wide to the left, down at the bottom of your screen, and number 34, the junior out of Passaic. Greg Hayward is back in. Janela chased out of the pocket, a little shovel pass to Hayward. Lassoed from behind at the 48 by Corny Southall. Hayward goes 
the other way. Dives down to the 46. Wide open. That's a first down to the tight end, Eric Seaman, the freshman from Westchester, Pennsylvania, Henry Tootin. Wide to the right, Bill Osborne to the near side. That's Osborne in motion. That's Hayward in motion. Big hole left side. Dean Caliguire opening up that hole. Far tonight, Joe McCall is next when he gets 16 more yards. You know. Like Houdini. Slides down to the 31. Daryl Gordon. Uh, otherwise, this will be like the gong show. <laughs> He won't be around at the end. Third and seven. That will be a first down and a touchdown. Billy Osborne. No good. Missed the extra point with 6.02 left to go. The Panthers lead 6 0. Oh, the Panthers facing the unbeaten Irish, ranked number four, strike first. They lead 6 0. Where the Panthers have struck first against unbeaten Notre Dame. Squib kick at the 15. Brown got to the ball and gets to the 26 yard line. The backs are Anthony Johnson, 22, Mark Green, 24. And Rusak. Looks over the middle. Picked off by Pittsburgh at the 39-yard line, Gary Richards. First and 10, Pittsburgh. They scored first. Here comes Hayward again. And the big back lumbers down to the 35. Hosea Hurd and Henry Tootin wide at the top of your screen on second and seven. Janella. His last was 31 yards for a score. Over the middle, a low one inside the 20 to Henry Tootin on a curl. Ooh. Ooh, that's close. That looks like it hit the green carpet. And first and 10, they give them the reception at the 18-yard line of the Irish. Riddick. First and goal, Pittsburgh. At the five, Panthers lead six nothing. Craig stopped at the line of scrimmage. Second and goal from the five. Second down and five. Janela bends in. There's Riddick. Stopped and wrestled out of bounds, and a penalty flag comes down. That will be a very costly penalty because. By Wednesday, he wanted the experience going up against Notre Dame. It's paid off. How's that for a collision at the one? Ned Bolcard, second and goal from the one. Janela ran backwards, got to about the half yard line. Caliguire now, number 64, a guard is in the backfield. Blocking for Hayward, who scores? 64, Dean Caliguire lined up in the backfield. That's 265 pounds, blocking for 260 pounds. Back, Reggie Williams wide to the right. Seaman is the tight end. Fred is right in the backfield with Hayward. Janela dances, fires. Two points is good. Reggie Williams on a post pattern. Janela, the senior, much maligned. The coach thought on Monday at practice that he would not start. It would be one of two freshmen, but two scoring drives as Janela makes good on the two-point try, finding Reggie Williams on a slant in. 14-0 pin over unbeaten Notre Dame. A little shell shock right now. Unbeaten and untied, you come into Pittsburgh, and you're behind 14-0 with two minutes left in the first quarter. Francisco across the 30-yard line. Andrusak, his last pass picked off by Gary Richard that set up that scoring drive and set up the short field. Green hammers his way up across the 35-yard line. A little flare out, way too high for a wide open Mark Green. There is a real surprise. 
Braxton Banks, 39, checks in for the Irish. Andrusak out of the pocket. It's a floating pocket. Looks, fires, Timmy Brown. Loose football. The Panthers have it. At the 26-yard line, Quinton Jones. Janela looks deep, dancing feet, fires. Dropped at the 40-yard line. Reggie Williams had it. That's an minute, Jim. I think there's a good reason for that. Second and ten. Safety valve to Hayward. Lumbers forward across the 30. Roughing the passer against the Irish. Two key turnovers and the face mask penalty inside the five that gave Pitt a couple of extra downs. Motion by Osborne. He's got a 31-yard touchdown run. Motion on the right side of the line. Well, Hayward never quite had his balance. That's the end of the first quarter. Two Pittsburgh scoring drives, a two-point conversion, and the Panthers lead the unbeaten Irish 14 to nothing. Panthers ball at their own 43, second and 13. Janela to Hayward. Misfires a little bit too far. That's all, all year. The rest of those points, mistakes. Janela can run for the first down. He's got it and more. Out of bounds. Adam Walker, 29, checks in at wide out along with Henry Tooten, 81. First and 10. Riddick, former defensive back with 4-5 speed. Down to the 27. And Chris Getz, number 72, now the new right tackle. Riddick dives down to the 25-yard line. First and 10 for the Pittsburgh Panthers. They lead 14 zip. There goes Hayward. And Ironhead bangs it down to the 20-yard line. Riddick hurdles over one man and gets down to about the 17-yard line. Where the Panthers have a commanding 14-0 lead. At the 16-yard line of Notre Dame, it's third and one. Unbalanced line to the right, and that's why. Iron Man. His defense with their backs up against it now. Look at that stat. Notre Dame with just one first down. They haven't had the ball. No clock. Trap blocking on the left side, inside the 10. Second and six. Riddick. Look at that extra effort. They had him stopped at the 10. He kept the knees turning. And watch number 64, Dean Caliguire in the backfield, blocking for Ironhead. Craig Farrell is down inside the five. Well, they have been behind, by, but not by this much. Wright and Hayward in the backfield. Well, he cleared air traffic control. Not Second and goal from the two. Third and goal from the two. Caliguire was in, checks out. Riddick checks back in, number five. Play action fake. This will be a touchdown. Sal Janela. And look at the Panthers rallying around their senior quarterback. They knew that the pressure was on him all week. He even made some remarks to the local press, Bill Osborne. Van Horn, one for two on the night, 21-0 Pitt. The Pitt Panthers, they were a touchdown underdog against the fourth-ranked team in the country. They lead by three touchdowns. Jeff Van Horn, the sophomore out of Spokane, Washington. Line drive, Tim Brown dribbles it at the 15. Penalty flags are down, and so is Brown at the 36. already have been. Tim Brown in the backfield. Nothing doing around the right side. The pit defense always tough. Has not given up a first half touchdown since the first play as you saw. Andrusak out of the pocket. Looks fires behind the intended receiver. Reggie Ward. Oh Ezekiel. They want to stay away from him. Third and ten. Contact was made. It really allows Notre Dame to do some different things to change it to third and five. Blitz. Got it. 
and John that Carter. That was it. For the Irish as they're faced with fourth and 11. Vince Phelan, line drives it. Terry, uh, Terrell Austin. Great field position for the Pitt Panthers. <laughs> so he'll reload the gun and try again. Motion by Osborne. And not much motion this time by the Pitt offensive front. Lone running back, Hayward. Janella. Caught at the 26 yard line. Facing Sal Janella this week. On third and three, Janella needs a block. We'll get the first down close to the 22 yard line. Looks at first and 10 from the 22. Motion by Hosea Hurd. Hayward. He got the last five on his own. For 19 carries, 47 yards for Hayward. Second and seven. Riddick. Blocking on the right side. I want to see what Tim looks like at two in the morning. First and goal from the two. Caliguire lines up in the backfield again. Hayward again. Touchdown again. One for two on the extra point. Snap is high. Osborne pulls it down, and there are penalty flags down. Procedure against Pitt. Another one by Jeff Van Horn is no good. He's one for three after the penalty was stepped off. 3.55 left to go. Foge is having a very tough homecoming. Former head coach here at Pitt. And the Pitt offense responded to the challenge. Van Horn. Squib ones again. Brown will get it at the seven. Runs into his own man and trips at the 21. Andrzejczyk works with Mark Green to the near side. Alonzo Jefferson, top of the screen. Andrzejczyk throws that one out of bounds. And they've had a rough time. What is that play call signaling to the pit defense? Tim Brown back in motion. They need eight. Andrasak misfires too high for Brown at the 39. Phelan will punt it to Terrell Austin. Austin at the 33. That's a couple of blocks. Penalty flag is down, and so is Terrell Austin at the 45. Clipping. Pittsburgh. I think good football strategy just dictates to play it close to the vest. Close to the ball, you'll find number 34, Craig Hayward. Williams wide to the left, Osborne to the near side. Ironhead cracks it to the 27. West Pritchett on the stop. Third and seven. Will they put it up? I'll bet not. I bet wrong. Going for the downs. Incomplete at the 35 but against Michigan State. 66 and 70 yards. Tim Brown back deep. Rasp hung a beauty. Brown drops it. The Panthers dive for it at the 25. But the Irish get it back. George Streeter. Irish have all three with which to work. Andrasak airborne. Flares it out to Green. Green will try to get out of bounds to stop the clock, but a penalty flag. Notre Dame offense, a potential big play into the short side of the field. How about a fly pattern to Tim Brown? They've got one-on-one -on -one coverage at the top of the screen. Mark Green, not much doing. Stop at the 17-yard line. Single coverage again on Tim Brown. Will they test it? Andrzejczyk across the line of scrimmage out of bounds. Will stop the clock at the 21. 
Brown and Terrell slotted out wide to the left on third and 13. Brown got it first down and will try to get out of bounds. Dances down, loses the ball, but out of bounds. Drop at the 23 into double coverage to take advantage of the receiver as we pointed out at the top of the show always knows where he's going the defenders do not not utilizing Brown to the best of their ability and rolling left throwing right against the grain whether he can win a high school you see you see that he cannot control the game from the wide receiver position how about the two fumbles and rolling left throwing right incomplete behind Tim Brown. Andrzejczyk, one for six, 24 yards this quarter. Incomplete on fourth down. Andrzejczyk is down at the 35-yard line. Motion, offense, decline, first down. Nothing to lose by getting in field goal position. Janela, hot hand early. Safety valves it to Hayward. Down to the 33. There goes Terry Andrzejczyk. Janela throws it up into the tuba section looking in the direction of Reggie Williams and there are six seconds left on the clock from the left hash mark a 50 yard try out of the hold of Billy Osborne he's missed two extra points wide to the left and a 50 yarder is short and also wide to the left time has expired here in Pittsburgh 56,500 the 49th renewal of Pitt and Notre Dame. The Irish came in unbeaten and untied, ranked number four in the country, and so far it's been all Pitt. They lead 27-0 against the Irish. Let's go back to the studios. Scores and highlights with our game day host, Tim Brando. And there is Tim Brown, who has fumbled twice, once on a punt, once after catching a pass from Andrzejczyk when he was breaking it for a 35-yard effort. So here we go. The second half is underway. It's Pitt and Notre Dame. Green will not give the ball up to Brown. Green heads for the center and to the 34-yard line. The new quarterback is Tony Rice. He is a six-footer, 197 pounds, a sophomore. I did check on Andrzejczyk. They said he was okay, so it is not an injury that brought Rice in the game. Rice, two out of three on the year. Won't get a chance to throw it in the grasp of who else? Number 26, Zeke. Gadsden did not have a job when camp opened up. Rice spreading out. Will fire. Brown is open. Got it at midfield. Troy Washington has Brown. Pittsburgh cannot get lackadaisical against Notre Dame. Reggie Ward and Brown wide to the top of your screen. Smith on the sack. Take a loss, but they'll break a big one, too. Rice dives over the right side. Oh, they told me he was fine. Brown and Ward wide to the left. Rice better unload. Pitt defense unloads on Rice. Zeke Gadsden led the way. There, Gadsden got him. Balin is back deep. Terrell Austin will await the punt. It is high. Austin fields at the 22. No return. The score also reflects, Kevin, the confidence of that young man, Sal Janella, senior out of San Mateo, California. There goes Ironhead. Gold rush there for the Pitt Panthers. Second and two. Hayward cracks it across the 32. You just got to step forward and do something. Motion by Michael Stewart. And forward motion by Iron Man. Motion by Ella Bill Osborne. Oh. They can start him on the track team in the high hurdles. Dead ball. Personal foul. Defense. First down. He says hoagies too. He likes hoagies on his pizza. Adam Walker, 29, checks in. Ironhead gets a rest. Riddick 
bangs across the left side, blocking up front by Dean Caliguire. <laughs> receiver that's a close to first down this could be a turning point in the career of Sal Janela Hayward checks back in on third and four motion by Osborne about three yards shy of first down yardage and now quickly out comes the punt team trying to catch Notre Dame That the Chinese bandits played at LSU. Chinese fire drill. John Rask will try to put it out of bounds inside the 10, and he sails this one nine yards deep in the end zone. Irish with the ball. Tony Rice, the sophomore quarterback, works with Brown and Ward. Wide outs, left and right. Rice looks for Ward, picked off and dropped by Gary Richard. He had an interception in the first half. Say that Richard might be the best cornerback in the country. Close to first down yardage. He'll get it if he crossed the 30. He'll have to break four. <laughs> Slithers forward for seven tough yards. Straight ahead goes Anthony Johnson out of South Bend. Alonzo Jefferson, number three, checks in. Wide left. Rice stumbles, gets back to the line of scrimmage, falls forward and falls into Jerry Osofsky. Wide open, Rice finds Pat Terrell. Terrell finds the 31-yard line, and Gary Richard and Quentin Jones. Terrell was a quarterback in Lakewood High School in St. Pete, converted to a wide receiver. First and ten from the 31. On the dive, Ricky Waters, the freshman out of Harrisburg, PA. One of the things that Lou Holtz has said to us in the two Notre Dame games that we have done, his passing game is not up to caliber to be a top team. Braxton Banks, number 39. Blitz. Rice. Got his man, that's Braxton Banks, bumped out of bounds at the 15. Touchdown, Notre Dame! The Irish trying to claw their way back into it. Score with 4.33 left to go in the third quarter. It's 10 for 10 on the extra points this year is 11 for 11. A lot of seams in this defense. Olsowski is out of the picture. The rest of the defense overruns it. Rice big and strong for a young guy able to drag him into the end zone. A 20-point lead for Pitt, but this one is far from over. Irish getting back into it. They'll sure make you a lot of friends on your team. Low kick. Fielded at the 8 by Billy Owens. Fights his way forward up to the 25-yard line. So is Craig Hayward with the faith that Poge and the rest showed in it. Motion by Billy Osborne. There goes Riddick, and Riddick will go close to first down yardage up near the 34-yard line. For stop the clock. Ten carries, 53 yards for Riddick. Riddick and Walker in the backfield. Motion by Osborne on third and two. Nothing doing. Walker is stuffed by the Notre Dame defense. Would like to break one here, about 60 yards. Snap is high. Rask pulls it down. It's blocked. Out of bounds. Inside the 20. The Irish on a roll. Blocked by Todd Light. Here we go. Notre Dame, first and 10 at the 19 of Pitt. 
Peck and Jacobs as the Irish line up with a double tight end. Rice in at quarterback for Terry Andrzak out with a broken shoulder at play. And there goes Mark Green, number 24. Single coverage on Tim Brown again. Rice will look for him. He's covered, and Rice stutter steps down to the 11-yard line. Third and two. Rice inside the 10. Quentin Jones again. He's got to make a decision and get into the hole immediately and try and stop it. All he needed was three inches. His initial surge gave him the first down. They're knocking on the door as we'll start the fourth quarter. Pitt leads by 20, but the Irish are coming back. And previously unbeaten Irish of Notre Dame. First and goal from the nine. Rice at quarterback. Full house backfield. Mark Green. Down to the one and a half yard line. The ball just outside the one. Touchdown. Notre Dame. Braxton Banks. Extra point try is perfect. Grottel 12 for 12 on the year. And the 25th head coach at this great university knows that his team is clawing and scratching back into this football game. They're down by 13, 14, 21 left to play. Reggie Williams was to the upper left-hand side. The kick is high but not very deep. Billy Owens at the nine. Explodes to the 30 and beyond. Great return for Bill Owens at the 37-yard line. Janela's gone the whole way at quarterback. Ironhead across the 40-yard line up to the 42. Second and five. Craig again. Cracks it over the left side. Blocking by Caliguire. Quick snap, Janella blitzes on, dances out of it. The Irish have got him. Wes Pritchett. Surprise, guess who's back deep, number 81. It's hanging high. Brown fields it and goes down at the 15, and a flag is down. Clipping against the Irish. Green and Braxton Banks are the running back. Tony Rice at quarterback bends in. From his own end zone, will look for Brown, streaking down the right side. Incomplete at the 40 of Pitt. Second and 10. Ward and Brown, left and right. A little broad goes to Banks. Bangs his way across the 10, up near the 12. Big five yards necessary for Notre Dame. Terrell wide to the top of your screen. Brown in the slot. Rice. Won't get it that way. Osaski, the middle linebacker. Phelan will punt. Austin is back deep. This is a line drive. Austin on the dead run at the 41. Hammers his way to the 30, and the Panthers have good field position. Young man gaining confidence with every snap. He played a great first quarter. The jury was out, and so Sal led Pittsburgh to two quick first touchdowns. Hayward. Barrels around the left side, down to the 23. Osborne in motion. First down for Pitt. They keep it on the ground. Line of scrimmage, the 17 of Notre Dame. Craig inside the 15. Williams wide to the right. Hurd wide left. Inside the 10, Caliguire in the backfield. Hayward at the five. Brandy Wells rode him out of bounds. 